Good evening, Facebook. Family and friends, this your boy Gmo. Uh the reason why I had to make part two because the fucking uh my space head ran out on my phone. I couldn't finish the video. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, I was talking about uh my classmate Andrew Shrug that got shot or whatever, and uh I was talking the last thing I was saying about a girl got got killed at uh Money Bag Yo concert, which was a tragedy or whatever. Uh It's really sad that that happened to her or whatever. Uh, my prayers go out to her and her family. But, uh, man, I'm just saying, like, like I had posted a picture, like, probably about a, about a week ago that uh, I was in the backseat of my Escalade. I took a picture uh, and said, uh, live your life to the fullest because you never know when it's going to be your last day. Man, that was, that, I really meant that or whatever because, you know, these days and time, you never know, you know what I'm saying, when it's your last day because shit is crazy. I'm pretty sure my classmate didn't know he was going to die. But, uh, that's a tragedy or whatever. Uh, my class of 2000, I, don't know, I apologize to y'all because I need to do better or whatever because I be seeing y'all be having a lot of fun and stuff like that. And every time y'all post something, y'all get ready to meet up. I always got to work, but I'm going to start taking off or something because you know I'm committed to my job or whatever. But uh, y'all want to know how my life been going? Shit, I've been working, like working like crazy. Yep, trying to. Uh, I finally got my Escalade recustomized. It's not a. Uh, it's not can the green no more. It's can the red. So uh, I just been living life, man, or whatever. Uh, my ex still running her ass down there. Talking to my parent, communicating, whatever the fuck she doing. I don't know what the, what's on her fucking mind. I don't know. The, the bitch crazy. I don't know what the fuck wrong with her. But, uh, she need to, <laughs> I don't even fucking know. Yep, I guess my parents still, I don't know what they, what the hell they on. But, uh, I don't know how in the hell can you, uh, communicate to, to somebody that did your child so wrong. I think that's kind of fucked up, but you know, I can't really just say nothing, you know what I'm saying, stop her from communicating with them and they gonna answer the phone or whatever, so I just, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of kind of fucked up or whatever, you know, uh, when you're depressed and shit, going through a lot of shit, man, you know, uh, <sighs> that shit could be suicidal or whatever, but, uh, you know, you never know who you will fall in love with, man, or whatever, I ain't respect for me, you know what I'm saying, to be heartbroken and falling in love or whatever. I remember when I had first met her and shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want no relationship and shit. And she used to always tell me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fall in love with her and shit. And I fucked around and did or whatever. And look what happened or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So my message is tonight is if a person ain't on your same level as you, you wasting your time. If a person ain't got nothing to offer you, you wasting your time. It finna be 2017. So I hope your new year re resolution is to, you know what I'm saying, try to do better. I don't give a damn if it's like change your dress code. Don't, if you know this year been fucked up with you, you could outweigh, you could outweigh the, uh, the good thing from the bad things or whatever. Don't nobody wanna just, you know what I'm saying, just go into the new year doing the same old shit they did last year or whatever. Uh, to all the people that is still following me, I sure appreciate or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna fucking take some time out work and answer all the questions and shit or whatever. You know, people been wanting me to uh, tell them or what, uh, how to catch they, you know what I'm saying, how to catch they man or they girlfriend or whatever. But shit, if I tell you how to catch her, when you catch her, him or her, what you gonna do? I'm talking about. Is you gonna go back and do the same old shit? I'm talking about what you gonna what you gonna catch? Say you call it in with you gonna leave or you gonna keep on going back? The shit don't make no sense. The shit don't make no sense to me. You know if you catch somebody and then you are gonna end up taking them back. So my fucking message is why would I take my fucking ex back? Where would the fuck would I start? What what would the where would I start? Just I want y'all to tell me where the fuck would I start if I take that bitch back? Bitch running down there, 
Talking to my parents, sending messages, talking about she love me. I'm always gonna be her boo. What? I'm talking about, man, what the fuck? For real? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if the bitch crazy losing her mind or what. I don't know. I done, I'm way past that shit. But I'm talking about, man, if y'all out there, you know what I'm saying? If y'all in a relationship and y'all know y'all wife or husband cheating on y'all, y'all still continue to let this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got y'all somebody. And then an altercation happened and shit, somebody get killed. Then you feeling all sorry and crying and shit. And when you, you know what I'm saying, y'all and then the throw fire on fire and fucked everything up. So, you know, what, what you think gonna happen? Because when you playing somebody, you know they fucking feel is in it. You know what I'm saying? Folks killing folks for nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm pretty sure if you in, in somebody, I'm pretty sure men's are, if you fucking somebody wife and you inside their house, you need your ass to get killed. If you fucking somebody that married and you in they fucking house fucking the woman, your ass need to be killed. I just watched the fucking movie about that shit. The shit wasn't no joke. Goddamn, goddamn man came home. Their wife was bold. A man was bold. Had her ass bent over, bold in her ass. You know what I'm saying? And then that was their anniversary. So, motherfucker flip mode. This is good movies on Netflix. I'm talking about the shit is off the chain. I'm talking about, damn, that's fucked up. But anyway, I ain't gonna hold y'all up tonight. I just wanna uh, uh, send a shout out to my classmate, class of 2000, and uh, RIP to my, my good homie, Andrew Sherrod, and I see y'all next time. Uh, if I don't talk to y'all no more, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's, and just enjoy life. It's your boy, G-Mo, I'm out.